Today we're going to talk a little bit about scanners and how they work. We've talked about this in previous videos. You're welcome to watch the video on strings too. And then come and watch this video. To use my scanner, I'm going to import my Java Util scanner. And I've created the uh, all of the wrapper classes, all of the wrapper code for it, right? So this and this. I have created also a comment, which is going to say what I'm going to do. Um, and then let's go to the scanners. First, I import Java Util Scanner so I can use a scanner object. You don't have to import all objects that you use, but the scanner you do. So then I create a variable of type scanner that's going to be called um, uh, keyboard, and that's going to be that's going to hold a new scanner that's going to listen to the keyboard or system.in as Java says. Again, I'm creating a variable kbd that is going to be the placeholder for a scanner that's listening on the keyboard. So now I can ask questions, right? System.out.println What's your name? What's your name? And then have the scanner receive that name, kbd dot next line. This should get everything that I put there. Um, this should receive anything that I put there uh, up until I push enter. Okay, so just so it's clear, we're going to, I was testing this before, so I'm just going to clear it. Okay, so I'll compile it. Okay, it's compiled. Now I'm going to run it. And it's going to say, what's my name? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. And then that's it. I've done nothing with it. So what I have to do is, when I get the next the input from the line, I should probably store it somewhere so I can use it later. The input from that line is a string. So I can say uh, string uh, full name equals kbd next line. And then what I can do with full name is I can say system .out print line hello and then the variable full name. If I compile this and run it, we'll see this working. It asks, what's your name? Robert D. Jr. And then it'll say, hello, Robert D. Jr. Okay? So that's what it does. Now, there are other methods in the scanner um, in the scanner class. So for example, I can say system.out.println How old are you? And then we'll have the scanner We'll have a string, right? Receive um, age. It's going to be kbd dot um, next line, right? And then let's say system dot out dot print line. Whoa, you don't look like. And then the age. Okay. So that's the idea. Is that I I'll enter it'll ask me how old am I, I'll enter a number and then it'll say you don't look like whatever age, okay? And then I'll run it. Compile and run, what's your name? Robert D. Jr. Hello Robert D. Jr. How old are you? I am 54. Wow, you don't look like 54. Now, if I wanted to say, say 54, and uh, I want to say, you know, this computer is four years old. So I would like to say, oh, Robert Downey Jr., you are 50 years older than I am. For that, I would need to subtract four to the age that Robert Downey Jr. gave me. For that, we need age to be a, an integer because we can't subtract, subtract from a string. So to make it an integer, first we apply an integer h and then there are some wrapper objects wrapper objects are objects that um, mimic primitive types but but that also have methods a primitive like an int or a double or a float or a boolean or a car they don't have any methods they're just you know they just tell you how big variables are wrappers on the other hand they can store these values and they can do stuff with them or they can transform say for example a string 
into a double or into an integer, and that's what we're going to do. So the wrapper for the integer object is capital I integer, okay? And then we're going to say parse int and then h. What this does is it's going to take a string and it's going to make it into an integer. So then we can put it in h. And then we can change our message to say, well, you are, we we'll have another integer, um, h difference, it's going to be h minus 4, right, because the computer is 4. So then we'll say, wow, you are h difference, okay? Let's compile it and run it. Whoops, I'm sorry, okay, so, um, oops, sorry, not h. There's two ages here. The, the problem here originates because there are two ages. H int. Okay, and this is H int. Okay, let's compile it. I still have one error. Uh, H diff, not difference. H diff, that's what I called it here. All right, compile it, run it. What's your name? Robert. D. Junior. Hello, Robert D. Junior. How old are you? I am 67. Wow, you are 63. I'm sorry. You're 63, and I should have put years older than I. Right? And that should that should actually do it. So compile, run. What's your name? Robert D. Junior. How old are you? 67. Wow, you're 63 years older than I, right? That is something that we can do with wrappers, like integer, and scanner, okay, which reads the input from the keyboard. Now, the scanner has one more thing that I think is very nice. Instead of doing all of this, you have to, you, you probably want to type this code and make it run. Now, I'm going to re erase parts of this. So, pause the video now, type it, run it. Good. Now, the scanner has also some methods that allow you to not have to do this backflips and stuff, all right? What we can do is instead of getting the next line as a string and then converting it into an integer with a wrapper, there are wrappers, again, for doubles, for characters, for everything. You can directly from the scanner, KB, KBD, say next int. And that is going to read the scanner and it's going to get you the next thing you put as a number. Okay? If it's not a number, you're in trouble. So let's compile it and run it. Okay? And you see that I removed the string from there and removed the, the string um, conversion. I just read directly the integer into the h int. So what is your name? Robert Downey Jr. Hello, Robert Downey Jr. How old are you? 67. It read that string as a number, and it's, it was able to make the computations. You're 63 years older than I am. The scanner has methods to read a lot of types, like doubles, um, uh, like doubles, uh, next line. It can read also individual strings, like the next, just the next word, and so on and so forth. And you can combine them. So in one line, you can have words and strings, and you can be reading with the scanner, hey, next for the next word, next for the next word, next int. If there is an integer, then it'll it'll uh, it'll read it. We'll talk about this in class, but you should totally try these things. And the scanner sometimes is uh, finicky. We should try and use it a lot. Read integers, read doubles, read next line. Also, read next and combine these things and see what happens. If you have any questions, ask me.